have you joined this year? What were they about? I have joined more than 10 events so far, most of which were about education. What was your most memorable event? The most memorable for me was an international study conference in which I was introduced to some famous universities in Europe to study overseas. Was it organized indoors or outdoors? It was an indoor event. Who sponsored the event? The event organizer was the Education Department of American Center, but the universities introduced in the conference were the ones who paid. Who went to the event with you? I went there with my friends, who shared the same interest in studying abroad as me. What were some performances in the event? There were not many performances. Each university representative just had a speech to introduce their school to students and then they hosted Q&A session. Was the event shown on TV? The event was not aired, but there were television advertisements for it. How would someone market an event? Taking advantage of social media is a smart way to promote an event. Museums, but the most popular are historical museums. What is the most famous museum in your country? That would be the British Museum, located in London. What's special about it? I'm impressed by its large amount of historical, art, and cultural work. How many times have you visited that museum? I have visited the museum twice. What do you usually do when visiting a museum? I usually listen to the tour guide and take notes about important information. Are you allowed to take pictures there? No, the guards did not allow us to bring the camera in. How did you feel after visiting there? The overall experience was fantastic, and I learned so many things in just a few hours. What do you think is the importance of museums in history? Museums are an integral part of any country's history, and they keep history alive. Popular festivals are there in your country? There are many. New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick Day, Easter, etc. What is the most important festival in your country? I believe that New Year's Day is the most important one since it's a chance for family reunion and parties. People gather together to welcome the new year. When does it take place? It occurs on January 1st. Where's the festival celebrated? The New Year's Day is celebrated all over the country. Each family has its own way to celebrate the day. What do people do to prepare for the festival? Before New Year's Day, people go shopping for food and drinks, repair the house, or put up decor. Who can join the festival? It's a day for everybody. What do people do in the festival? On New Year's Eve, people have a party with traditional food and drinks. After that, they may visit friends or relatives, go to the movies, or watch sports. What's special about that festival? It marks the end of a year and celebrates a new year. People believe that the things they do on the first day will bring good luck and prosperity to them during the whole year. Is the festival culturally related? Sure, the festival is an integral part of culture. Why is a festival important? It adds structure to our social lives and connects us with our families and backgrounds. What's your favorite music band? I'm a big fan of One Direction. There are five singers in the band. Is it famous around the world? Yes, it is. The band is well known around the world. Almost all teenagers love them. What's their taste of music? They sing pop music. Their most famous song may be What Makes You Beautiful. Are they good at dancing? Yes, I think so. I fall in love with their every step. Have you ever seen them in real life? Nope. I just watch them on media. I wish I will see them one day. 
How often do you come to their show? I watch videos almost every day. Listening to their songs helps me chill out. Can you sing their songs? Yes, but only one song. I just keep singing it over and over again every day. Do your friends like them? Of course. We usually watch their performances and discuss it together. Do they have anti-fans? Yes, every famous singer has anti-fans. What is the most impressive competition you've entered? I took part in an eloquence competition organized by my university last year. What was it about? The competition was to find out the best public speaker in the university. Were there many participants in the competition? Yes, there were around 500 participants totally. What prize did you get? Well, I didn't get a very high prize, but it didn't matter. I was still happy with the result. What could you learn from the competition? I learned the way to develop ideas for a speech besides some body language tips in public speaking. Did you have to prepare a lot for the competition? Yes, I did. I read various materials about eloquence, as well as rehearsed a lot. How did you know about the competition? The competition was informed in the school poster. Did you do your best then? Yes, I think so. After the competition, I know I have to try more. Is the competition useful in your opinion? Sure. It helps students learn soft skills as well as become more confident in life. What indoor game do you like to play? Um, I'm fond of playing bowling. When did you start playing it? I've just started bowling. It's been three weeks so far. Who do you play it with? Most of the time I play with my friends when we hang out together. Sometimes I also go bowling with my cousins. Where do you play? At a nearby shopping mall. There is an entertainment area where people can play various games. Is it easy to play? Yes, quite easy. The bowler has to knock down as many pins as possible, ideally all of them. Are you usually the winner? Nope, because I'm just a beginner. My friends are much more experienced in playing it. Why do you like it? Well, going bowling is quite enjoyable. I love it when my friends cheer me up. Is it popular in your country? Yes, people playing almost everywhere. There are nearly 3,000 bowling centers in my country. What are other indoor games in your country? There are many, such as board game, table tennis, squash, boxing, and so on.